Hey everybody, welcome back to Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. We are on the Pilot Edge online ATC network and we are in Drizzly Portland, the Drizzly Pacific Northwest. And we are in my favorite plane in Microsoft Flight Simulator, and that's the Cessna 152. Um, I love it. So we're gonna be flant unit slant flant. Slant uniform. We're going to be slant uniform slash slant for flight. Uh, going to my one of my favorite airports on Microsoft Flight Simulator, and I haven't been back really since the first couple weeks uh, the simulator launched, and it is the Free Orbix. I will always remember. The identifier for this airport. It's Oscar um, Golf Two Zero. I, I to my my um, ramp, number in basketball was twenty. Um, uh, hence the two zero uh, in my kind of default call sign two zero four Lee Mako. Approaching So I like the number twenty. Um, and OG is just kind of funny. So two zero. Uh, OG two zero is a is a pretty funny. Um, out, airport uh, identifier. Uh, so the the weather is is reporting VFR um, in the real world at Portland. Uh, ceilings at 4,500 feet. So we're gonna keep it really low level and go to this this airport, this Orbix airport. It's really really fun. Um, so if you haven't seen it, I can't wait to, to show you guys because it is it is really cool. Um, Kevin Mbaha. Charlie, 10, is that what it's, uh, Charlie, um, did I get that right? Delta. Um, you know, I have not been over in Europe five. in this at all. We should do that soon. Uh, okay, so 1842 uh, right is 10, the Charlie, departure frequency, Tango, so 1842. Oh, uh, Kayvon. Got it. Got it. Okay, cool. Apologies, I am so bad at reading off those names. Okay, so 1842 is our departure frequency, and that is ready to go. Let's get inside the plane, and we've got plenty of runway here at beautiful Portland. Um, it's a little bit drizzly. This the effects look awesome. Like this, this is really this is really great. So I cannot wait to get over to this this airport. It's a it's a short hop, but it is really fun. We're gonna do some patterns and just kind of play around with this airport a little bit. It's free from Orbix, no excuse not to pick it up. Portland Tower, Cessna 204 Lima Echo, holding short 28 right at Alpha. Cessna 204 Lima Echo, Portland Tower, proceed on course, runway, uh, proceed on course, maintain VFR out of below 3,500 until advised. Runway 28 right, cleared for takeoff, wind 2306. Proceed on course. We'll stay at or above 3,500 Cessna 204 Lima Echo. Clear for takeoff, 28 right. That's four Lima Echo. Maintain VFR out or below 3,500 until advised. At or below, please. Uh, at or below 3,500 Cessna 204 Lima Echo. Entered runway okay, 28 lights. right. 9,700 hey, feet remaining. Remember 368 Charlie, established in the hold of a Caro. Um, I'd like Captain Darkon, that is the biggest number. 30 freaking months. That's, dude, that's really weird. <laughs> God. Ryan, thank you so much, man. Ryan helped make all this stuff, um, Work and happen, and uh, he is that uh, he is forever the wingman. Ooh, someone's going to, to Narrows. Look at the wind here. <laughs> this thing is all over the place. Dude, that's freaking crazy, man. Two and a half years of doing this. That is really wild. Dude, the problem with the airline, the problem with the airliners is just they don't, the systems don't work. And you can't, you can't fly IFR in them. You gotta, you know, it's all hacked together, and it's just not. This is a, this is beautiful. The the reason why I love this 152 is because it pretty much just works. We're gonna we're gonna turn we're gonna turn out. 
Portland Tower, Cessna 204 Lameco. Request uh, early turnout uh, to the south. That's approved. Just don't hit anything, though. I'd hate to have to send you a bill. <laughs> it's a pretty tall tower, but we'll try to miss it. <laughs> That's really freaking funny. Um, yeah, when like I would I would never want to cross over. Um, oh yeah, cultivator. I would absolutely fit in this plane. So uh, a friend of mine, um, the details their details really don't matter. But a friend of mine is uh, his instructor and friend uh, just picked up a really nice 152 that they're trying to sort out right now. Um, so I'm hoping that we're going to do a couple of 152 adventures here pretty soon. It's really, really, um, it's really cool. Like the, the pictures, it's freaking awesome. So I am, I am hoping that, um, he gets it sorted out pretty soon. Is there no panel lights in this thing? I don't think anything is backlit in this plane. Um, but the, um... Yeah, it's a really clean plane. It's got a 530 in it. Um, so it's really, really dialed in, and I've always wanted to fly a 152. Uh, it's below the yoke. Dome. Let's, we'll turn on those. Beacon, blah, blah, blah. Does that seem like the dome light? Did that do anything? on floodlight? I don't know. Pedo heat? We don't need pedo heat. Uh, yeah, I don't think we have any. I don't think we have any lights. That was okay. That was a good... That was good. Uh, we're actually... We just left Portland. Dark on. We just left Portland. <laughs> the, the, uh, the Piper that I fly on occasion um, doesn't have working lights panel lights like they, they work but they flicker on and off and i didn't know about that until i was flying home at night from san diego <laughs> like with a friend and i was like um uh this is not good um we made it work and like i just had her hold up my my aviation flashlight i have like the little red colored flashlight uh so it worked it worked fine but yeah was like, this is Look to the right of the ignition. There's a rotary dial. Yeah. Oh, ooh. Ooh. That, if you press it, it says in op, but there you go. Look at that. 204 Lumeco, got a Portland departure. Departure, Cessna 204 Lumeco, see you. Okay, let's kind of scoot along here. Portland departure, Cessna 204, Lima Echo, 1,700. Cessna 204, Lima Echo, Portland departure, radar contact. You can resume navigation, maintain appropriate BFR altitude, the Portland altimeter 3004. ONAV and altitudes 3004, Cessna 204, Lima Echo, thanks. Yeah, look at that. Look at that beauty. Oh, that's so great. Oh, look at that, like the rain. That looks freaking awesome, man. Are you kidding me with how cool that looks? Oh, hi, Hawker Driver. <laughs> I think I've broken the dude. It looks, I mean, dude, this looks freaking awesome right now. This looks really freaking awesome right now. Dead approach the river 362, Charlie. I love that. Go ahead. Can I get uh, that straight in approach for localized runway 17? It looks so good. I mean, we're very marginal VFR right now, but uh, we're we're shipping it right now. Um, uh, from uh, Captain Darkon, exclamation point, full yeah. rip. The, the, the IAF there only You've heard the new ones, right? Okay, no problem. Actually, I'm coming in from the west. Hold my rifle, boys. We're going full rip. Oh. I'll, I'll take you back to see oh. turn inbound. Um, Aviator Sim, thank you very much for following. Welcome aboard. <laughs> and, and, Ryan, you will love this one. Exclamation point, Brad. 
Seven and everybody be quiet. Seven contact Seattle Center one three five point one five. Oh, what the hell? Um. What the f crap? There we go. There we go. It's it's doubled up with the counter and the audio cue. <laughs> it actually played it. Yeah, I think you were. Yeah, Ryan, you were on a cooldown. Yeah. That's my favorite. Yeah, that's my favorite for sure. What the f crap? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god oh you guys are gonna love this airport once we get here and we're almost there too which is the funny part do we even have a CTAF for this thing um not really I mean, 2245 is, is the flight service. I don't, yeah, we, there's like no frequency for this thing. Is this? Nah, it's private. That's really funny. Yeah, we are so not legal right now. <laughs> that is. I mean, that looks amazing. <laughs> the fuck, Richard? <laughs> this is this is really great. This is awesome. Okay. Um, yeah, look at how freaking good this looks, man. Just don't zoom in, zoom in too much, but it's got everything. It, I mean, it can look kind of jank the closer you get, but when you're at, even at this altitude, it looks so awesome. Oh, I'm excited. I'm, I, I love it when I get, when I have that feeling of being excited for flying into an airport in the sim. Um, it's, to me, it, it feels like that feeling um, flying when you're not the one flying because I I've, I've never gotten really the I mean you, you guys saw like my expression when we were flying into Santa Paula like I was super serious and focused and whatever but you know you're you're so focused on what you're doing you kind of don't have time to get excited where you're going but in the simulator because you know the stakes aren't no, as high, would be um, the I right get right excited right. for flying into this airport and, now, like, you, you know, the, the challenge of flying in there, it's the really fun. Will do. Um, <laughs> flying when you're the one not flying. But yeah, you know what I mean, right? Like, when you're a passenger, when you're flying with somebody and, and they're focused on all the important stuff and you're like, oh man, this is so cool looking, you know? Um, it's got a different... It's got a different feel. And Tacoma Narrows, that's where I grew up. That's really cool. What's up, Busta Beats? I gotta find this airport. We're gonna overfly it. Squawk and VFR, frequency change approved. Cessna 204 Lima Echo, have a great night. See ya! I can't see if that's a zero or not. There we go. That's better. Like fades in and out. Okay, I don't even know what frequency to use here. There's like no frequency actually published. So oh, I'm just gonna go to 2245. Sounds good enough. We all good with 2245? Is our frequency? It's flight services, but it's a private field. We also don't have to do anything. We don't have to say a word. Okay, lights are on. Everything is good. Um, 
Yeah, it's a private field. I haven't really dug into like the procedures on private fields, so I don't know if you'd actually use 22.8 or something different. Um, no, yeah, I'm going to, it's Fairway. This is the, the Freeware Airport um, from Orbix. And I think I see, if you see out here, um, you've got that golf course out there, and then you've got that high school that's the airport so I can now I have the airport in sight um, yeah I mean, there's a there's a phone number to call and 2245 is the flight service that has a phone number as well so we're just gonna use use that one um, and I'm gonna go there's a couple there's two different runways um, and I'm gonna use the regular like the the sketchy the sketchy runway first um, and we're just going to go Nordo. I'm not going to say anything. Um, but yeah, here there's a, there's crossing runways and I have no airport information, but this high school right here, um, is where you'll, you'll fl overfly that high school to one of the, uh, the runways, which you can kind of see there you're starting to make it out. And then on the other side here on the South side, um, you're going to go, yeah, this is so cool, right? Yeah. I, for I had forgot about it too. Um, and then, like, somebody was talking about Orbix. I was like, oh, man, I should really go back to that Orbix place in, in Oregon because it's so fun. Uh, so this is real-world weather as reported by Microsoft. So I don't know how accurate it actually is, but um, we're going to do a touch-and-go on this runway, and then I'm going to go to... 500. Uh, go to another runway. So we have no idea what the winds are doing. Um, I could check, but that would um, need effort, <laughs> which I don't want to do. Okay, so we're gonna. I kind of have an idea of how this pattern is flown. I go. I, I remember following this road for the base leg, uh, and then we'll just kind of drop it in over the power lines here. Well, I meant more the winds. I could I could have this not great. Let's see how this is set up here. Should be able to see the power lines. Got the little the little orange balls. There they are. Keep the back pressure, keep the back pressure, flaps coming up, full power. I should have kept the flaps to 10. Four, okay, so four knots is nothing. Cool, thank you, Ryan. All right, we are, we are VFR, we're looking, we're looking okay at VFR here. Um, yeah, I. Full disclosure, had this been real life, I would have not landed on that first attempt. I would have definitely done a, just done a low, a low, pass. Not really a go around, but just like a low, a low check it out. All right, so now we're on the downwind for the other runway. I'd have no idea what these numbers are. It seems like this is the one going east, so I guess we'll call it uh, 090, so we'll get, or runway 9, I don't actually know, but yeah, we're going to go right, final is right over the high school there. So let me get the left turn, left base here. Keep it, keep it slow because it's soft field short field I mean it's not uh, we don't want to come barreling through um, but I also want to keep it high because we have obstructions leading up to the runway itself so if I keep it slow 
but maintain decent altitude, um, I can trade that altitude for speed when when I need to. So I'm, I'm hedging a little bit high. This plane flies super slow. Um, so there is the runway. Apologize for my camera work there. It looks like there is some power lines right there. Yeah, that is really close to that power line. Ooh, and there's some more power lines there. <laughs> Ooh, that's really close. That pop-in doesn't help. Not on center line. We're gonna go one, two. Oh yeah, that, the wind is way stronger over here. And let's use this little ramp here. <laughs> That's awesome. And there we go. <laughs> oh, that's pretty. That's pretty good. Okay, flaps coming up clear of the obstacles. And now let's try a right pattern. Man, this is this is actually super fun. Um, doing this. Yeah, it's they're they're popping in kind of late, which is throwing me off a little bit because I I can see the the um, the towers, but not the actual wires, which is why those things exist in the first place. Okay, so now we're beam the numbers right there. So pull back. Let's get the first notch of flaps coming in. I'm going to keep this one a little bit tighter and see if we can't short field this guy. And let's just, let's, we're, speeds are good. We can just dump it all in and kind of, kind of offset this a little bit. So there's the, the, um, the road that goes right in front of the runway. So just kind of keep it really slow. Just keep it high. Keep it up a little bit. Keep it up. Keep it up. Okay, there's a little orange balls in there. And we're clear of them. So now I can drop it in. Power is idle. Still a little sensitive on the elevator there. Just hold it off. Great. Flaps up two. Keep the back pressure. Oh, that's really sensitive on the back pressure there. And that tree is right where I don't want it to be. And we're clear of the obstacle. Flaps coming up. Sweet. Okay, this is going to be a full stop, and we will taxi back to, oh, what the hell, taxi back to the uh, the little hangars that they got there. It's pretty, pretty cool looking. Lots of power lines here. That is not ideal. before crashing. And we're back. Okay. <laughs> Trying, trying to get a little screenshot there, and now I lost, I lost the airport. Okay, for Rick, just pull the, just pull the power back, and you'll be fine. Level the wings. See if I can spot where we're going. I think it's back there.
Alright, let's see how close, how short I can get this. A short, soft field. Lost a lot of altitude there. All right, there's the, there's the airport. You can see the runway right there. So we can just dump the flaps in there. Speed looks good. Hold the back pressure, let the speed come down, and we're just gonna sink. Keep it slow, keep it a tad high because of that obstacle. And then just maintain back pressure the whole way once we, once we touch down. Okay, we have plenty of room. Just dive it right down. Still pretty plenty fast. Just hold that off right there. Touchdown, looks good. No brakes, just maintain the back pressure and let the plane slow down. Let the plane slow down. We'll actually get the flaps to come up, then we'll sink down. It's it's wet, it's wet grass as well, so it's extra important that we keep the momentum. Oh, good. oh we're looking good. Ah, oh, we're looking good. Keep the momentum but also not rely on any any brakes to make any movement changes keep the back pressure you can see the elevator right there it's super light plane so just a little bit of airflow over that elevator will keep the nose coming up in fact even here it's wanting to it's wanting to lift off We're looking good. Ah, oh, we're looking good. That is beautiful. If you haven't picked this up yet for X-Plane, I, I highly recommend it. It's really great. There's, there's some super cool flying, especially in Microsoft Flight Sim in the Pacific Northwest um, because the, the scenery looks so good. And this is a great premium Airport in terms of the the scenery itself and um, yeah it's it's really awesome it's a good hub it's good on Pilot Edge as just kind of another little um, fun airport to stop at it's untowered obviously but but getting in here you know you're um, you know, you're you're able to to depart from local airports that are controlled in Pilot Edge. Um, this is uh, Oscar Gulf 2.0, and it is a freeware Orbix scenery. Let's see, how did I do in this parking job? Ah, uh, not too. That's not too bad. That's pretty good right there. It's not quite uh, Mike Patey, but that'll do. Yeah, that's that is a that is a super super awesome uh, little little spot right there. Cool cool airport. This this might be the thumbnail right here. That that's nice. You got the you got the hangar in the back. You got the the sun breaking through. Yeah, that that's pretty money right there. I dig that. Nut tree, yeah, that's a. Gr uh, my parents used to fly to nut tree all the time. All right. So there is fairways OG two zero on Pilot Edge.